this morning, Lord God. Starting us on our way, bringing us over the highways and the byways. Say one more time. Allow us to assemble in his house one more time. Allow us to have a voice to speak his praises, to sing his praises. One more time, Lord God. Got eyes to see this morning, Lord God. Somebody, Lord God, is on the sick bed. They couldn't get up this morning, Lord God. But we are here, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord God. We are here, Lord God, to let the world know that we serve the risen Savior. He is not dead, Lord God. And Lord God, it actually just have your way here today, Lord God. Stir us up, Lord God. Wake us up, Lord God. Shake us this morning, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saturate us in your presence, Lord God. Let us feel your touch, Lord God. Let us feel your presence, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God. We praise you, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. 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 At this time, we're going to ask that we're going to come forth with singing, amen. We're going to come before his presence with singing, amen. Come before his presence will sing, amen. Magnify him in songs, amen. Glory to God. Encouraging ourselves in songs this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Today is communion Sunday, amen. 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 What our Lord had had added, had wanted us to do. We're coming from page 79, at the cross, yeah. at the cross, amen. 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 I can't hear you, amen. 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 Glory. Glory.
sending of the scriptures this morning, coming from the Gospel of John, the 10th chapter. I'll be reading verses 11 through 18. And I'll be reading from the King James Version. The Gospel of John, the 10th chapter, verses 11 through 18 reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a hireling, he, he, he who is not the shepherd one, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I'm known by my own. As the father knows me, even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore my Father loves me because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on myself. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. This morning I preach on the subject, knowing the good shepherd. Amen. Knowing Amen. the good shepherd. Throughout the scriptures, people, especially God's people, are referred to as sheep. In John 10 alone, Jesus used the word sheep some 13 times. And every time it is used, as it is used as a reference to his people. You see, sheep need a good and a committed shepherd who will lead and guide and protect and provide and care for them in order that they might survive and thrive in life. Amen. Now the fact that Jesus says that he is the good shepherd is good news to us who are sheep, who is who sheep in need of leadership, protection, provision, and cleansing. Amen. So what is a shepherd? Well, at the time of Jesus, shepherds were poor individuals, and they were treated as outcasts. They were, in fact, nobody. They smelled, and they certainly were not welcome in any church. But yet, saints, it's amazing mm -hmm. that God the Father chose lowly shepherds mm -hmm. to be the first to witness the birth of Jesus. Amen. So not only was Jesus' birth humble in a manger, but the witnesses to his birth were shepherds who lived in the fields tending sheep. Now, nevertheless, Jesus is here comparing or relate himself to these poor, unclean outcasts. He is recognizing the good work they do for the sheep. And he is saying that I am the shepherd of mankind. And so our passage today talks about the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. And I would like all of us to reflect and ask ourselves, do we know the good shepherd? Well. One way to find out if we really do know the shepherd is to assess our lives and does it reflect the good shepherd that we, that, we, that we do not only know him in our heads, but we do not only say that the good shepherd is Jesus and he is the second member of the Trinity mm -hmm. and that is why a good shepherd is God. But more likely, can our lives actually be a living definition of who the good shepherd is? Come on, Are we representing the good shepherd to the world. So in today's passage, we will see characteristics of a good shepherd. And in response to these characteristics, we should ask ourselves how we see our lives. If we are claiming that we are one of the sheep, are we believing in the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as a good shepherd? So the first thing I want to mention is the good shepherd 
has the characteristics of selflessness. It has been reported that sheep are prone to danger. They are helpless and they do not have the capacity and the ability to defend themselves from wild animals that come to attack them. Amen. Sound like us, amen? Well, amen? So a good shepherd will never let his sheep get attacked, amen, by stronger animals. He would rather get hurt than even killed for the sake of his sheep. Jesus said it three times in this short passage that I read this morning. He said in verses 11, 15, and 17 that he will lay down his life for us. That sounds like a mighty good shepherd to me, amen? Amen. Jesus voluntarily gave his life that we might have life. And think about it, his death was a voluntary sacrifice to save us from ourselves and to restore our relationship with God the Father. Again, Jesus selflessly sacrificed his life for us. And that is not because we did something worthy of his death, but he did it because he is good and that he's a good shepherd. Amen. And because he's good, saints, he can be trusted. Amen. Think about it. Would you trust someone who risked his life for yours? Yes, Would you trust someone who pulled you from a burning building or pushed you out of the way of a car yes. and nearly died because he saved you? Yes. Now, if this Savior asked to borrow $20 and promised to pay it back, would you still trust him for it? Well. Most of you probably would say yes. Because if someone proves to you that his own life isn't more valuable to him than you are, then surely $20 it's a more valuable to him. Amen? Amen. There may be lots of unfaithfulness and untrustworthiness in this world. That's right. There will be a lot of people who will let us down. But listen, listen, listen. Jesus Christ well, sacrificially laid down his life for us. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, we can trust him because he laid down his life. And because he laid down his life for us, we should be willing, amen, to give to him, to surrender to him, and to sacrifice to him our very life. Amen. 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 Secondly, the good shepherd is relational. The good shepherd is the owner of the sheep. I read before we started that we don't own ourselves. Amen. amen. God owns us. Amen. amen. Jesus and the Father God has a special relationship with the sheep and with us. Sheep look a lot alike to the untrained eye. But the, but the shepherd knows each of them personally. Amen. In fact, he knows them by name. Philip Keller in his book, of talking about the 23rd Psalm, said that if you look closely at a sheep, you will notice that each sheep has its own peculiar traits and markings. One may walk a little sideways. One may have gold feet or knees. One may be missing a patch of, of, of wool. One may be uh, uh, need this or need that. One may need a hair trim or hair cut, amen. But nevertheless, the shepherd, the good shepherd, knows his sheep. He knows them individually by name. But the only way a shepherd can get to know his sheep is to live with his sheep. He has to come close to his sheep, amen? amen. And that is what Jesus, the good shepherd, did for us. He came all the way from heaven to earth yeah. to live with yeah. us, his sheep. And Jesus, the good shepherd, knows again our peculiar traits and our markings. He knows the number of hairs on our heads. Now that's a lot of knowledge right there, amen? Amen. 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 He knows what we need before we ask him, amen? amen. He even knows our thoughts will fall off. And again, he knows us by name. And that's good. Sometimes I can
can remember faces, but names kind of elude me. Amen. Amen. I be talking to people sometimes and we pray, Lord, bring that name back to me. Bring the name back to our memory. But Jesus don't have that problem. Amen. Amen. He knows our name. Amen. Amen. Let me give you an illustration. It talks about a man in Australia who was arrested and he was charged with stealing a sheep. But the man protested loudly that he didn't steal the sheep, that the sheep belonged to him. And when the case went to court, the judge didn't know how to decide the matter. So he asked that the sheep in question be brought into the courtroom. And then he ordered the plaintiff to step outside in the hallway and call the animal. And he did, but the sheep made no response. Then the judge asked the defendant to step into the hallway and for him to call the sheep. And when this accused man began to call the sheep by name, the sheep just ran towards the door. It was obvious that this sheep recognized the voice of his master. Amen. And the judge said, he knows his sheep, Amen. and his sheep knows him. Case dismissed. Amen. 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 That Jesus draws a contrasting picture between himself and the hireless, uh, the hired help when it comes to verse 12 and 13. You see, hirelings were people who was hired to watch the flock. And they was really only concerned for themselves. You know, some pastors are like that, amen? amen. They have no vested interest in whatever it is they've been hired to do. And their main concern is their paycheck, amen? amen. And that, that's not only pastors, but a lot of people are like that, amen. amen. There's another story about a homeowner, homeowner who had hired uh, a, a, a little boy, a young boy rather, from the neighborhood to mow his lawn. He met him in his yard the first thing in the morning, showed this young lad the mow, made sure he knew how to start it, and then he told him what he wanted done, and then this man went off to work. And when the homeowner came back later on in the day, he noticed that his lawn wasn't cut. He found the mow was right where he left it, and the young boy was nowhere to be found. The next day, he saw this young boy, and he asked him why he didn't cut his lawn. Well, the boy had the death to say, well, your lawn mower was empty. And how do you suppose me to mow your lawn without any gas? The man apologized and said he thought he left his lawn mower full of gas. And then a few days later, the homeowner noticed this big brown spot where the lawnmower had set. <laughs> and, he had re and he realized that this young boy that he had hired to cut his grass had simply dumped out all the grass because he didn't feel like mowing the lawn that day. Amen? Yeah. You see, the problem was he was just a hire. He didn't care what the lawn looked like. His only concern was getting paid. Well, and now again, we see this kind of attitude Amen. all over. Amen. Children and some adults won't do anything for you unless you pay them. Amen. Amen. People will throw trash out of their windows of their cars, Amen. but they'll have a fit if they saw you throwing something on the lawn. Amen. 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 Friends sometimes might borrow our cars, and we lend it to them with a full tank of gas, but when they bring it back, it's almost on E, amen? Our employees sometimes spend more time doing personal things, talking on the phone, standing around, amen, they own the computer, researching, what they're going to get from Amazon, amen? They do all of those things rather than working, amen? Why do people act like that? Amen. Well, the same reason it says the Harlem's runs away in verse 13. It says they, that they, they, they care nothing for the sheep. You see, the sheep has no value to them. 
If something doesn't cause a person something, then it's not worth anything. Amen? You know, for those who have grown children, amen, when they was young in your house, Amen. They kept it, they kept that room junky, amen. They wouldn't put up clothes so they wouldn't wash anything, amen. You know, to leave dirty dishes in the sink. But when they get their own place, amen, if you come over and, and, and drink something or do something, they have a fit if you don't wash it, amen. Because, amen, they don't care when it's not dirty, but when it's dirty, amen. 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 It's a difference, amen. 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 And so since, amen. And, and Jesus' point is that those who are working for the reward think only of what they're going to get, while those who are motivated by love are only concerned with those they're trying to reach. Amen? amen. You know, sometimes you have, to, you have to beg people, amen, to do something. Beg them, amen. amen. They see something that needs to be done and stuff, you got to beg them, because they're hard. But if they was true servants of God, amen, amen, they wouldn't wait to be asked. They are taking upon themselves and do it. Amen. 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 Again, some people not gonna do anything, even in church, amen. If you ain't gonna pay them, amen. 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 I know I don't know about you, but I know people like that, amen. 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 And so since the sheep belong to Jesus, he's not just helping them so they can help him, but he laid down his life for them. While they was yet sinners, amen. Amen. The scripture says Jesus loves us so much that he will leave 99 sheep that are safe and go up that one way with one that has strayed away from the safety of his fold. Amen. Amen. So there's a real difference between Jesus and the Pharisees because they were just hard hands. And in verse 14, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. And I know my sheep. And my sheep know me. You know, I'm the good under shepherd of this church. Amen. I know amen. the people that I'm shepherd, amen. amen. Sometimes they don't think I know them, but I know them, amen. amen. I know them myself. And sometimes I, I'm not going there, but I know people, amen. amen. I know people, amen. amen. Have you ever been invited to something? Or place, and when you get there, you realize that you didn't know a soul. I've been there. When you get there, it's like that. Don't you feel uncomfortable? Uh -huh. Yeah. But then, all of a sudden, somebody that you know calls your name mm -hmm. from the other side of the room, and immediately you feel comfortable. Uh -huh. You feel then that you belong because somebody knows you. Now, we live in a world where no one knows who we are. They don't care that much about us. That's why they don't get to know us. You see, the government knows us by our social security number. The state knows us by our driver's license number. Our bank knows us by our account number. And our insurance company knows about us by our policy number. But the only place people recognize our name is in the graveyard. Where? And that's only if someone has spent the money to place a grave marker on our bur a burial spot. Amen? Amen? But here's the good news, saints. Jesus knows us. Hallelujah. And we matter Hallelujah. to him. Hallelujah. Even when we don't dot every I and cross every T. He proved this when he left heaven came down to earth where he knew he would be rejected. He knew that he would be crucified because before we could have any kind of relationship with him, he knew that he had to die in order for us to become a part of his family. But in having a relationship with Jesus, we must learn to hear his voice. Only when we become familiar with Jesus' voice and learn how to follow him, will we be able to resist the voice of strangers. Amen. Because I've told you before and stuff, you know, some people can sound so convincing that they really know the Lord, that they really know scripture, amen. 
man. Mm. Amen. They sound so convincing. But you have to have that ear mm. to hear and distinguish between God's voice and the enemy's voice. Amen. 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 Like it said in verse 4b, we should not follow a stranger. We should run away from the enemy. Amen. Amen. Because we don't know the voice of strangers. Now, it, 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 we teach our children about stranger danger. Amen. Uh -huh. But do you know about danger in the, in, 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 among Christians? Amen. Mm -hmm. Do you know about danger um, among false prophets and false teachers? Amen. We should run away from those, amen, who is not speaking the truth, amen. Because we can get amen. sucked in, amen, amen, and follow after the wrong people. Yes. So I ask you this morning, what other voices are competing with Jesus' voice in your life? Because only when we become familiar with the voice of Jesus will we be able to distinguish his voice Yes, yes. From other voices. Even from our own voices, amen. And so when we begin to know God's voice, Jesus' voice, amen, we will run for those who teach you know, the, the, the world view, amen. We will run away from media influence and all such things. And then because the shepherd is relational, the sheep has permission to talk with him and at any time, day or night. That's good news, amen? amen. We have permission. God in his word has given us permission to come to him. Tell him all about our struggles. Talk to him about anything. He gives us permission to do that. We don't have to wait till 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings to have a little talk with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord that, amen? amen? We can talk to him 24 hours a day. Yeah. And so whatever you are going through right now, know that the good shepherd wants to talk to you. Amen. He wants you to talk to him and tell him Amen. everything that's happening in your life. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the good shepherd wants to be the first one that we run to when we need someone to talk to. In other words, the good shepherd said, pray, pray, pray. Yeah. He says, Asaph, always say a prayer. Yes. He said, pray until something happens. Yes. He says, forget about everything and pray. Amen. So as the sheep of the good shepherd, amen, is relationship, relational, we need to deepen our relationship with him. There should be some growth in us. It can be small, but there should be some growth in us. Because if there's no growth in us, we might as well be dead. Or we amen. might be spiritually dead. Amen. If we're not growing, amen. amen. And how do we grow? By getting in God's word. Amen. Staying in fellowship yes. with the saints of God. Yes. Stop being hanging around from the boys on the corner. Yes. The men in the bars. Mm -hmm. The ladies in the clubs. Yes. We need to hang around church people. Well, let me pray. That we need to hang around Christians. Amen. There are people in church. Amen. 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 But we need to hang around Amen. some good Christian people. Amen. Amen. That can pour into our lives. Amen. That can encourage us. Amen. That can build us up as opposed to tearing us down. Because you know, there's some people, even church people sometimes, want to tear you down. Amen. Amen. They don't want to see you prospering. They don't want you to see you doing well. They want you to be back down there with them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So as sheep of the good shepherd who is relationship, again, deepen your relationship in prayer. Deepen it through praise and worship. Deepen it through quiet times with the Lord. Amen. Lastly, I guess somebody said, I'm glad this is the last point. They all, you all in my business, all on my toes, amen. I'm all fell. The good shepherd is a good keeper. Amen. Jesus calls himself the good shepherd. 
And the word good describes someone who's more than just competent. It refers to the character of that person. So in Jesus, we see goodness is his essence. Now we might say someone is a good worker, and that means they really do a good job. But at the same time, this good worker might be a liar. This good worker might be a cheater. This, might, this good worker might be unfaithful to the spouse. But when Jesus refers to himself as being good, what he means is that goodness is the core of his being. And so God says this morning, when you say that you are a good Christian, is that your core value? Are you good within or are you just good on the outside? Putting up a front, amen? amen? The good shepherd is a good keeper and he keeps the sheep away from danger. I read that sheep in ancient times, I mean not sheep, I read that shepherds in ancient times slept in front of the sheep pen. This was to make sure that the sheep under his watch was safe. Now having a shepherd to sleep in front of the door of our pens does not mean that the ferocious animals would, would not attack us, amen. Because we are gonna experience some sufferings, amen? Amen. amen? Even under care of the good shepherd. We are not exempted from trouble. We face threats to our finances. We face threats to our family. We face threat to our, to our health. We face threat to our country. We face threat to our jobs. Every aspect of our life it can be threatened, amen? amen? But despite the danger, knowing that Jesus is our good shepherd and that he's a good keeper, it should give us some hope for today and tomorrow. Amen. Because the shepherd is a good keeper. Amen. The sheep can depend on him to see us through. Amen. We can depend on the good shepherd to not let trouble last too long. Amen. We can depend on the good shepherd to not allow more to come upon us that we can bear. Amen? Amen. Amen. So God is good. Yes, he is. Regardless of whether times are good Amen. or bad. Amen. Many times we are tempted to praise God only when things are going our way. And we refrain from praising him when things get tough. But we have to know when, it, when things get rough, things get tough, we should get going. Because we're not going by ourselves. Yeah. Cling to the fact that the good shepherd is a good keeper. Yeah. Even though we moan and we groan, he's a good shepherd yeah. even when we are going through a storm. Yeah. He's a good shepherd in the times of sorrow and yeah. war. Yeah. He's a good shepherd in times of sickness and death. Yeah. He's a good shepherd and he's good all the time. And all the time, he's a good keeper. Yes. Amen. Dr. Andrew Bonner once said that in the highlands of Scotland, a sheep will often wander off into the rocks and get into places that they couldn't get out of. Hmm. Not only sheep in Scotland, amen. amen. He said the grass on these mountains is very sweet in it. Sheep like it, amen. And they would jump down 10 or 12 feet. In, and then they can't jump back out up again. And then the shepherd hears that distress and the bleating. They may be there for days until they have eaten all the grass. And sometimes the shepherd will wait until they are so faint that they cannot stand. And then he will walk around them and, and go over and pull them up, amen. Amen. Isn't that just yes. like us? Yes. Sometimes God allows us to stew in our mess. Amen. Yes. Before he rescues us. Amen. Yes. Because there's a lesson sometimes yes. 
We need to learn. Yes. Amen. So why don't the shepherds go down immediately? I asked. And he said, they are so very foolish that they would dash right over the precipice and be killed if the shepherd went to them too soon. And that is the way it is with mankind. We won't go back to God till we have lost everything, till all our friends have disappeared. Lost all our money, amen? amen. Mind me of the prodigal son, amen. amen. He had to lose everything before he woke up and realized how good he had. Amen. And then he went back home, amen? amen. amen. In summary, because of the shepherd, because he is selfless, the sheep can have hope. Because the shepherd is relational, we can talk to him. And because the shepherd is a good keeper, we can depend on him. Amen. Every characteristic of the good shepherd should be reflected in our lives as sheep of the Lord. So I want to ask you again, do you see the characteristics of the good shepherd? Do you know the good shepherd? One way to find out again is that we need to access our life. We need to ask ourselves, are we following the sheep? Are we going and doing our own things? I heard someone say, why call me Lord if you don't do what I ask you to do? Why do we call Jesus the good shepherd if we don't follow him? Amen? Amen. At one point in my life, I also forgot that I had a good shepherd. Mm -hmm. I was a sheep who needed care mm -hmm. from the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. My old woman struggles overpowered the truth of the goodness of the Lord. There were many times that I forgot to depend on him mm -hmm. because my mind thought that I am the one that people needed to depend on. And so I found myself getting frustrated, exhausted, amen, until I reached my limit, and I just felt like giving up. But indeed, Jesus is a good shepherd. He came after me, amen. And when that time came, when I was on the verge of jumping off the cliff, amen, when I was about there to fall like a sheep without a shepherd, God pulled me and reminded me of who he is. Yeah. And he was reminding us today through this message that Jesus is a good shepherd. Amen. And he takes Amen. good care of us. Yes. But we just have to trust and depend yeah. on him. We just have to get out of his way. Amen. Yeah. Let him be God. Yeah. Kick ourselves off the throne. Put God back on the throne. Amen. 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 Let me give you this one last example. I think it's one last. Yeah. No, 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 no. It talks about a tour bus that was traveling through Israel with a group of Americans when they saw a unique sight. They saw an Israelite shepherd was carrying a lamb in his arms. And the bus stopped to talk with the shepherd and to give the tourists a chance to take pictures with them. And a little boy asked the shepherd, why are you carrying that little lamb in your arms? Can he walk by himself? The shepherd smiled and said, you don't understand. This little lamb keeps wandering from the shepherd, and I'm his only defense against the enemies. He would not listen to me so I had to pick him up and break his leg to save his life. That's exactly sometimes what the good shepherd does to us. Sometimes he has to break us way down, amen, amen. to save our lives, amen. amen. Sometimes he has to mess us up, amen, 
to bless us, amen. amen. Sometimes he had to let us go through a test yes. so we can have yes. a testimony. Yes. But yes. nevertheless, amen, nevertheless. he will find us wherever we are. Yes. Take us through yes. brokenness. Yes, yes, he will do yes. it. Amen. And he will carry us until we are able to walk again. Yes. Yes. Amen yes. on our own. Yes. That's a good shepherd, amen. Yes. Yes. Jesus is the good shepherd. Yes. He's the only one who died for us. He's the only one to take real good care of us. Yes. He's the only one that can provide for us like we need to provide it. Amen. Amen. He shed his blood to redeem us. So stay near the good shepherd. Yes. Stay in his word. Yes. Stay on your knees and pray. Yes. He is the shepherd of the sheep. Yes. And the question is, is he your shepherd? Mm. All the sheep who follow the shepherd will receive the benefits of the shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. As the good shepherd, Jesus gives us eternal life. Yeah. But to receive eternal life, we must be a part of the sheepfold. Yeah. We must respond to the shepherd when he knocks at our door. Yeah. And to become one of the lost sheep, we must be a believer in Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. We must repent of our sins. Yes. Believe that Jesus is the good shepherd. Yes. The son of God who died on an old rugged cross. Yes. The son of God on that cross gave us our sight. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Let me close out with some additional information about Jesus. Yes. Our good shepherd. Mm. You know I found that he began his ministry by being hungry. Mm -hmm. Yet Jesus is the bread of life. Yeah. Yeah. He ended his earthly ministry yeah. by being thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Yet Jesus yeah. is the living water. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah. was weary. Yeah. Yet he gives us rest. Yeah. Jesus paid tribute. Yet Jesus is the King of kings mm -hmm. and the Lord of lords. Yeah. Jesus yeah. was accused of having a demon. Yet he cast out many demons. Amen. 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 Jesus wept. Amen. Amen. Yet Jesus will wipe away all tears Amen. from my eyes. Amen. Jesus Amen. was sold for 30 pieces of silver. Yet he redeemed the whole world. Amen. Amen. He was bought as a lamb to the slaughter. Yet he is our good shepherd. He's the lamb Yes. of God. Yes. Jesus died, yet by his death, he destroyed the power of death. Amen. Yes. Yes. Jesus yes. is my good shepherd. Yes. Yes. I shall not want. Yes. He maketh me to lie down yes. Yes. and drink yes. yes. He leadeth yes. me beside the sea of water. Yes. He restores my soul. Yes. Yes. He leadeth me in the past a righteousness yes. for his name sake. Yes. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For Jesus, my good shepherd, is with me. His walk and his step, they come with me.
and give the invitation um, to do discipleship. Or you can stand where you are. However, you said your eyes are blurred. Just stand where you are and Praise. give the invitation Praise. to discipleship. Praise. Do you know the good shepherd? Jesus is calling. Okay. Yes. When you know the good shepherd and you pray, yes. you're talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the good shepherd, Pastor told us what the Good Shepherd does. And yes. He does, yes. Okay? That he is a protector. Mm. That he's yes. relational. Yes. Do you have a relationship with the Good Shepherd? Have you confessed Jesus Christ? If you have not, this is the moment. And the reason this is the moment is it's the only moment you know for sure. Yes. yes. Because the next moment, and the next hour, mm. the next day, you are not. Guaranteed. Amen. He called you this morning. He called you by your name. Yeah. And you get up to be in this place, this time, today. Because if you don't know him, he knew this was your opportunity. If you don't know him, yes, don't know him. Just come forward to the front. Okay? If you don't feel that you can come forward, just raise your hand. Someone will come and take your hand.
Mm. And so, uh, Deacon is growling. Mm. I want you to find uh, First Corinthians chapter 11, and we're going to be reading verses 23 through 34. First Corinthians chapter 11, <coughs> verses 23 through uh, 34. Amen, amen, amen. Deacon is a uh, Deacon Commissioner. I want you to do the the uh, communion prayer. Amen. 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 Is that chapter 13? Chapter uh, 11. 11. 11. 23 through 34. The communion was instituted in the upper room the last night prior to Jesus' crucifixion. He, he blessed the bread and he said, this is my body which was delivered to you. He said, eat it as often as you do it in remembrance of me. Then he passed around the juice and he blessed it and he said, this is my blood shed for the remission of sin. He said, drink it as often you do it in remembrance of me. The communion is not something we take lightly. Amen. It's something we do it in reverence. Matter of fact, everything we do for the Lord should be done in reverence. Amen. 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 Enter into his sanctuary in reverence. Amen. Because we know God's presence is here. So we do this communion in reverence. It's part of our worship service. Not something we tack on. So we do it in reverence to the Lord. We remember the price that Jesus paid for us way back on Calvary. That he hung up for our hang-ups. He died, amen, for yes. us, that we might have life and we have it more yes. abundantly. And so on Communion Sunday, we remember, again, the great price that Jesus paid for our liberty, for our freedom. Amen? Amen. amen. So at this time, I'm going to ask... Who asked me to pray? So I'm going to make so clean. Huh? Okay, be commissioned to come forth. Now let's do, let's do the scripture first. Come on, do yeah. the scripture. Chapter 11. Chapter 11, verse 23 to 34.
And truly this morning, Lord, we come just remembering what you did for us on Calvary. Again, how you just laid down your life for us. <clears throat> Lord, as we take this bread, we remember, Heavenly Father, as you, your body was broken for us, Heavenly Father. As we take this juice, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just represent your blood that you gave for us, Heavenly Father. And with that, we may have eternal life, Heavenly Father. Lord, we come asking that you forgive us before we take these communions, yeah. Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. That you forgive us of all our sins and unrighteousness this morning. <clears throat> if we have done anything, if we have sinned against you, Heavenly Father, even knowing the unknown, if we have sinned against our fellow man, Heavenly Father, if we have done anything, Lord, we ask that you forgive us this morning. <clears throat> we ask, Heavenly Father, that we pray that we ask for forgiveness for our fellow man, Heavenly Father, from you, Heavenly Father, for anything, Heavenly Father, that we may have done, Heavenly Father, because we truly, <clears throat> hallelujah, Jesus, yeah, yeah. just grateful, Heavenly Father, yeah, yeah. for all that you have done, yeah. and we come just giving you thanks, Heavenly Father, and praising your holy name, in Jesus' name we pray, amen, 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 amen. 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 We ask the uh, ushers to direct the people around, pick up the communion off the table. I'm going to ask uh, Deacon uh, Mitchell when she comes around to pick up something for Deacon Strange to go.
prayer. Amen. 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 Anybody have a special uh, prayer request? I'm taking prayer requests. For my daughter, Pastor. And if that matter of fact, that's the whole family. For Daryl and uh, Miss Bowman again. Larry Thomas, too. What a friend we have in Jesus. Yes. All our sins and grief to bear. Yes. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Yes. Most gracious Father, we just come before your throne one more time, Lord God. Asking, Lord God, to bow down your listening ear. Hear us as we call on your name, Lord God. Because yes. we know, Lord God, that you hear us when we ask you, Lord God, to come and see about your children, Lord God. And Lord God, we just thank you again for showing up in our service today, Lord God. We thank you, God, for teaching us the how to know the good shepherd and to know but we have the qualities, Lord God, to follow the good shepherd, Lord God. Are we following God or are we following man, Lord God? Help us, Lord God, to follow after you. So search our hearts right now, God, and remove anything that shouldn't be, Lord God. Creating us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, Lord God, that we might worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. And Lord God, you heard the prayer request. Lord God, for Barbara Burns and her daughter and her entire family, Lord God. We thank you for her testimony this morning, Lord God. Lord God, when she rose this morning, Lord God, she was not sure that she would have, Lord God, the strength, Lord God, and be pain free to come to the house of the God one more time, Lord God. But she pressed through, Lord God. We cover her in prayer, Lord God. Prayer works, Lord God. Lord God, we thank that she had the faith, Lord God, to move, Lord God, to get up, Lord God. And Lord God, you allow her even to walk here, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. So we continue to pray for her and her family, Lord God. We pray for Lord God for Lynn also, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that Lynn is such a friend to Barbara, and Barbara is such a friend to Lynn, Lord God. It's good to have friends, Lord God. And so we thank you for friendship, Lord God. We have friendship among the members here, Lord God, with other people, Lord God. And help us, Lord God, to be good friends to other people, Lord God. Jesus said, if we want to have friends, we have to show ourselves friendly, Lord God. So as children of God, let us be friendly, Lord God, to people. They don't have to look like us, Lord God, sound like us. They don't have to live in our neighborhood. But Lord God, we don't know. We might be entertaining angels unaware, Lord God. So Lord God, let us be friendly. Let us be kind to people, Lord God. We continue to pray for Daryl and, and Miss Bowman also, Lord God. We lift them up unto you, Lord God. Move upon their life, Lord God. Move in their situation, Lord God. Supply their needs, Lord God. We pray, Lord God. For the for uh, the Cruz family, Lord God, you know all about, Lord God, the, the Cruz men, Lord God, who's sick, Lord God, and going through sickness, Lord God. So we pray for them, Lord God, for healing virtue to flow in their bodies, Lord God, for their strength, Lord God, build them up, Lord God, for they are weak, Lord God. And Lord God, we pray for 
Mother Jernigan, Lord God, we pray for other seniors, Lord God. We lift them up unto you, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you would wrap your loving arms around them, Lord God, that you touch their minds, Lord God. A lot of our seniors, Lord God, are experiencing dementia and Alzheimer, Lord God, forgetfulness, Lord God. But Lord God, the good news is you have not forgotten them, Lord God. They might forget things, Lord God, but, but I guarantee most of them don't forget you either, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, for placing something within them, Lord God, to always remember you, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for uh, Mother Beth, Lord God, and others, Lord God. We lift them up, Lord God. We pray for Lazaria's grandmother, Lord God. We just pray for healing, Lord God, yes. in the minds and bodies, yes. Lord God. Lord God, we pray for those who are traveling, Lord God. We pray for traveling grace and mercy, Lord God. Lord God, it's good sometimes to get away, Lord God. We pray that you carry those who are traveling, Lord God, especially on vacation, Lord God. We pray as they go, Lord God, that they have a good time, they have rest and restoration, Lord God, that you bring them back revived in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for Patricia Anderson, Lord God, who lost her mom, Lord God. We pray for the Tuck family, Lord God, and passing her, her mother Juanita Tuck, Lord God. We pray for the uh, Sin Sinclair family, Lord God, and passing, Lord God, her mother Sinclair, Lord God. And we continue to pray, Lord God, for the Harvey family, Lord God, and others, Lord God. So many, Lord God, that I might forget right now, Lord God, who have lost loved ones, Lord God. So we pray comfort, 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 Lord God. Lord God, the word of God said you the God of all comfort, Lord God. Lord God, there is no sorrow that heaven, Lord God, cannot heal, Lord God. And so we pray for peace, Lord God, that passes all understanding, Lord God. We pray for the Keys and the Riley family, Lord God, and Jennifer, Lord God, and Kelly, Lord God, families, Lord God, we lift them up into you, God. We ask you, Lord God, to minister to them, Lord God, meet every need in their lives, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to pray for the Cardio family, Lord God, one by one and collectively, Lord God. We pray for Dawn's friend, Lord God, that has stage to be cancer, Lord God. And we continue to pray for, pray for her, Lord God, and pray for my friend, Lord God. Joyous, Lord God. So I pray, Lord God, for so many people, Lord God. We continue to pray for the Yates family, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for Penny Shorter, Lord God. Lord God, we pray over, Lord God, her back and her legs, Lord God. We yeah. pray, Lord God, that you give her release, Lord God. We can pray, Lord God, that you would heal her body, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, for permanent healing for her, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that Lord God, that, she, that she's able to move, Lord God, to do the things that she needs to be, Lord God. So we pray that she'll be able to work, Lord God. So we pray, Lord God, that you stretch out on her this morning, Lord God. Just like you did for Barbara Girls, Lord God. And you can do for Penny, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we ask you to stretch out into your people, Lord God. Touch everyone right now under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Move, Lord God, in their situations, Lord God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. There's so many, Lord God, as I said, we can pray for. We remind you, pray for our young people, Lord God. We pray for their protection, Lord God, as they go here and there, Lord God, as they play, Lord God, as they go to school, Lord God. We pray over their minds, Lord God. We pray that you arrest all these mass shooters. Lord God, all over this world, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for again for those in hospice care, Lord God, those in nursing homes, those in rehab, those in the, on the sick beds, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the waiver, Lord God. They'll come back to you, Lord God. The Lord God, that they don't stay away so long, Lord God, they forget about your goodness and your mercy, Lord God. So we ask you to root them back to your precious bleeding side, Lord God. Because we know that Jesus, Lord God, is still going after them, Lord God. Because the word says he's married to the back backside, Lord God. We continue to pray for Ernest Green, Lord God, for his healing, Lord God. We pray for Daryl Cruz, Lord God. And we pray for others, Lord God, that sick. We pray for the many caretakers, Lord God, that are taking care of loved ones, Lord God. We pray, Lord Lord God, for the military, Lord God, young and old, Lord God, that you wrap your love arms around them and protect them from danger seen and unseen, Lord God. We ask you to arrest this war, Lord God, this unrest in Ukraine and other parts of this world, Lord God. And arrest the war, Lord God, that's even on our streets, Lord God, because there's a war going on, Lord God. They might not be in the military, Lord God, but Lord God, they are armed and they are dangerous, Lord God. And Lord God, they are doing the wrong thing, Lord God. So we pray, Lord God, that we put down our weapons of warfare, Lord God, and we don't believe we have to have those weapons, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that you will move in their, in their lives, Lord God. We pray for our president and all the leaders, Lord God, the sign, Lord God, to, to lead and guide this country, Lord God. Give them wisdom, Lord God. Give them knowledge, Lord God. Give them love, Lord God. 
Lord God, take away the, the Lord God that partiality, Lord God. Let them be not a respect the people, Lord God, or, or you know, uh, respect the Lord God of political party, Lord God. The Lord God, we should be one nation under God, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, united, Lord God, Lord God, with common cause, Lord God. And we all, Lord God, should be fighting that common enemy, which is the devil, Lord God. The word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, Lord God, but wickedness in high places, yes. Lord God. So bring down all that wickedness in high places, Lord God. Continue to pray for healing for Christine Willow Hawkins, Lord God, others, Lord God, who are experiencing, Lord God, pains in their bodies because of arthritis or Attica, Lord God, all yes. kinds of, Lord God, uh, problems, Lord God. Continue to heal those with COVID, Lord God. Lord God, to heal those, Lord God, with COVID, Lord God, pneumonia, flu, Lord God, asthma, Lord God, COPD, Lord God, Lord God, matter everybody, Lord God, we yeah. ask heal yeah. every sickness, yeah. Lord God, yeah. right now in the name of Jesus, yeah. Lord God. There is nothing too hard for you, my Father. Yeah. And Lord God, we just put it all under the blood of Jesus, because there yeah. still is yeah. a healing balm, Lord God, in Gilead, Lord yeah. God. Yeah. And that healer is Jesus Christ, Lord God. Yeah. He heals in the sick room, he heals, Lord God, in our home, Lord God. So we look unto Jesus, Lord God, who is the healer, who is the deliverer, Lord God, who is the provider, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to pray for those who are waiting on transplants, Lord God. And we just pray, Lord God, much for these people right now, Lord God. The under sound of my voice, Lord God. We pray again that you meet every need, Lord God. Carry them through the storm they're in right now, Lord God. Send them, Lord God, see them on the other side, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you be that lawyer in the courtroom, Lord yes, God. Yes. Some are yes. facing uh, legal uh, battles, Lord God. Yes. And so we pray, Lord God, that you be that judge, you be yes. the lawyer, that you direct people, Lord God, to the right legal counsel, Lord God. Lord God, to have their best interest at heart, Lord God. So we are praying, Lord God, that you would just take up the case, Lord God, our case, and fight our battles in courts, Lord God, as we fight the battle on our knees, Lord God. So we thank you for that, Lord God. So we praise you, God. We magnify your name, God. And we just give you all praise, Lord God. So we just thank you, God, again, for just being so good to us, Lord God. Yeah. God, yeah. Lord God, because you are a good God, and you are good all the time, Lord God. Yeah. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 your giving. Amen. God Amen. loves that you forgive. So we thank God for those ones who consistently give into the kingdom of God, Lord God. They don't have to be coerced, or coerced Lord God, but they do for the word of God says, Lord God, to bring the tithes and the offerings, Lord God, into God's house, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, that the offerings, Lord God, is keeping the heat on, Lord God, keeping yeah. the lights on, keeping the bills paid, Lord yeah. God. And Lord God, is even helping us, Lord God, in missions, Lord God. We yeah. help, Lord God, we send a little offering those who are sick, Lord God, or those who are loved ones or whatever. Yeah. So we thank you, Lord God, for the offering that we shall receive, Lord God. We lift it up into you. Amen. 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 Are there any other announcements? Any other announcements? And heart, mind is clear, but not too clear. We want to keep, keep Jesus on our minds. Amen. 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 He is good, I'm telling you. Yes. I'm yes. 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 going to walk back around the corner. Amen. 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 As they say, he's better to us than we've been to yes. ourselves. Yes. Amen. Yes. He changed yes. us not. So let us stand for the uh, uh, benediction. We're going to sing our song first. Amen. Yes. Amen. What is our song? Church and let's go home. Get right, church. Get right, church. Get right, church and let's go home.